Well guys, I think I'm going to show in this video how to adjust your mechanical brake on your go-kart or a machine or whatever you got that's using a mechanical brake. Alright guys, what we have here is the more, the bigger, girthier mechanical brake that you'll find on a lot of go-karts and stuff. So, I'm going to show you how to adjust these. And I've gotten questions from people out there that say that they bought a machine and their brakes don't work. Well, if you, if you buy a machine and the brakes don't work, let's say if you were to take the machine and you put it up and you push on the brake and it stops the rotation of the tires, but when you're actually driving the thing around and you push on the brake, nothing happens. Well, two things can be wrong with your caliper. First thing is, is that your, your adjustment nut right here isn't tight enough. Or, over time of the other person using it, the pads inside here have worn down and when you when the throw of the arm here tries to engage and squeeze these together they don't go far enough to pinch on the disc or it can be a multiple of both this isn't adjusted right and these are worn down but you can you can buy replacement pads in a lot of places on the internet here uh, the way this arm works is that the throw, some of them have a little arrow, and the arrow, you can take this arm out by taking out this pin and flipping it around, putting it in so your throw would be going this way. And what happens is, is this arm right here has a pointed bevel inside of it, so when you push or when you pull on your rod and your clevis here, when you pull on it, it spreads apart on this pin on this bolt and a pin inside there that squeezes in on your pad. So I'm going to show you how to adjust that, how to adjust this. So most discs like this one, I just have this one held together with this stuff. Most of these are 3 16 inches thick. Is I'm going to take a piece of 1 8 inch flat stock I'm going to put it down inside of here. I'm going to take this nut, has a flat or a rounded surface to it. I'm going to put that in here. Make sure this locking part of, or this, this bolt, I'm going to put this bolt in here. Okay. So how I'm going to adjust this one is I'm going to pull it back out. I'm going to pull in my arm about halfway of the throw. Well, let's maybe bring it all the way over. Because this plate of steel right here is 1 16th inches thicker or thinner than the disc. So my whole throw here, I'm going to pull it out to about right there. That's about one, I don't know, maybe a fourth of the way tight. Then I'm going to tighten down this bolt, tighten this up, uh, okay, so now it won't fall out. So when I go to put my disc in here, the throw will start literally almost immediately. So this thing, this bolt right here is what adjusts the pressure on your disc. But now, let's say you have your machine already all set up and you don't really want to take your dang axle off. You don't want to dismantle the whole thing just to adjust this. So what do you do? Well, this is what you do. While this is on your machine, chances are you're probably going to want to pull your machine inside to do this because trying to do this outside in the cold is going to be a little difficult. It's going to be a pain in the butt. Anyways, you take your, while it's on the machine, and you have your disc inside here, okay, you pull this all the way out. 
this closer. So I'm all the way to the edge of the throw, all the way this way, okay? Get yourself a chunk of paper. I got a towel here. Stick it in there. Take, pull this back. It needs to be a little thicker. What you want to do is you want to make your throw of your arm about one fourth of the way back. Okay. Now remember, this is all on a go kart still. I haven't taken anything off. So you stick your paper up inside of there so the arm don't move. So pulling the arm that way will tighten this. So now I'm going to screw this on, screw this in tighter. And as you move it, I'm going to unscrew it. As you get tighter, you watch what happens to this arm. Okay. Now you can use an Allen wrench to tighten that up. Now that we got that tight, now we're going to tighten up this nut here. Pull out the paper. Hey, this really fell apart in there. And there you go, you got that. See, this part right here, there's enough play here to make sure that the disc still keeps rotating on your, on your machine. This play right here. So when I hook my clevis pin on there and pull this way, I will have all this stroke right here to really clamp down on this disc when it's rotating. That's how you do it, okay? That's how you do it by adjusting this. Your pads, if you look at your pads, if your pads are literally brand new, your pads it should be about as thick as, this, as your disc is. If they've been wearing out and there's like hardly anything left, then, uh, let me get a better close-up shot. That's about what they look like when they're literally brand new. It should be about that much. You know, look at it in comparison to the, the thickness of the Okay, now I'm going to show you guys a little technique on s adjusting your, your caliper away from your disc here when you're fabricating or building a machine.